God, there's nobody here. <laughs> I wonder why. Only idiots or fools or hardcore detectors get out this early. But my theory is this. I didn't come on uh, Saturday, didn't come on Sunday. So I'm hoping that no one else came on Saturday or Sunday. And I'm the first one on the water on Monday morning. So my theory is, if I'm the first one, this would be a good place to be. I'm gonna find a lot of stuff. If um, it was hunted maybe Saturday, there may be a few things here from Sunday. But uh, I can see the beach is very disturbed. That's a good sign. I'm gonna have to hunt the beach here in just a little bit. But it's a beautiful morning. Sun's not even up yet. And uh, about to get in the water. So let's jump in. Let's see what we can get. Well, it'd be kind of hard to miss this one. This was ringing up a real jumpy 38 to 40 something. It looks like a, eh, maybe stainless steel uh, heart bracelet. So that gives me hope that this hasn't been hunted. Um, uh, but it's hard to tell. It's hard to tell. This could have just been missed thinking it's a bottle cap because that's what it sounded like, a bottle cap. Sometimes people just don't dig bottle caps. But all right, let's keep looking. Maybe there's a good ring out here. All right, just down from that bracelet, probably about 20 feet, is this uh, tungsten ring. I was getting a, a 60, and at first I held it like this, and I said, wow, this thing's an ugly ring all rusted out. But when you turn it over and look at it, it has like deer on it and a, a forest and different things like that. So bringing up a 60, so that gives me promise that this hasn't been hunted down, so maybe everything's just kind of on the deep side. So let's keep looking around. Well, I was getting a solid 84, and an 84 is always a ring, or an 85. If it's an 82, 83, it'd be a dime. If it's any higher, it'd be a quarter. But just you learn these tones, and this is a, I got my cross. Preacher Digger got his cross. Now it's official episode, isn't it? All right, this is a James Avery Hart cross. Um, you can see on the back here, maybe not with this GoPro camera, you can't see the close-up, but, uh, but it's a James Avery 925. I like that. I like that. Put it with my James Avery collection. I got a big, huge James Avery collection. All right. I'm about a little over waist deep of water. And uh, so far, it's paying off to come here. And uh, I found three good things so far. So that's worth my trip. Um, saw one guy pull up. I think he was another detectorist. And he turned and maybe he went to the other, other hole that I'll be heading to here in about 30, 40 minutes. So let's keep looking. Everything's been waist deep and deeper. Let's keep going. Well, that finishes swimming hole number one. We'll head on down to swimming hole number two. Not a bad hole. I think anytime you go out and you can get a ring, you're doing pretty good. Especially this far out from Memorial Day and this far before 4th of July, you're just picking up what people drop and what other people haven't found yet. <clears throat> so I can handle that. We've got three things. Let's move on to hole number two and see if there's anybody down there. If there is, we'll go to hole three and then we'll call it a day. Well, hole two was a bust. I didn't find anything there, but just a little coin spill. So probably that was hit. And uh, here at my last stop for the day. And uh, this little, this is the smallest out of all three of the swim areas. Um, it's produced me a gold chain and two rings, but uh, a lot of times it produces nothing. But we'll see. We'll see. All right, let's get in. Let's see what we can find. Well, hole number three was a bust too. That's just the way it goes sometimes. Sometimes you get on a lake and you can hit it big time like in my last video, or you can start making a new video and come to lakes and only get a couple things. But I'm happy with that James Avery necklace and that ring and 
that bracelet. At least I'm not going home empty-handed. So, I had fun. But now, time to head on back to the house and head on to the office and get some work done. So, I'll see you at the next lake. Well, it is six o'clock in the morning. As you can see, I got the beach and the lake to myself. Looks like they hauled new sand into the beach here. Uh, white sugar sand. I have to start detecting this. Came out today, this morning early, before I go into the wor work and uh, haven't been here in over a week, so maybe there's something out here. We'll see, so let's get in the water. Let's find out. Getting a 72. I'm only about waist deep of water. Let me see if I can pinpoint this. And we'll go down and All right, it's going to be right in. Well, I got a 70, 72 real jumpy signal. Thought it was going to be a penny because it jumped up to a 76. But it's a big old tungsten carbide ring. Check that out. Got a cross on it. My second cross in this video. That's pretty nice though. But I was getting kind of discouraged, you know, that I dug those few uh, um, earrings, but nothing else. And, um, and then we got on this one, just about waist deep of water. That's where I thought most of the rings are going to be, about waist deep of water. All right, nice ring. Let's move on. You know, as I'm going through the lake here, I just thought about giving you a little tip. Um, when you're hunting a lake, hunt it just like you would a yard. You know, grid it off and get in a section and just kind of go back and forth and kind of overlap. And what I'm doing is I'm listening for all tones and I'm digging all tones from a 30 all the way up to a 100, a 99. And, uh, but I'm, what I'm really doing is I'm listening for the different tones. Uh, you know, pull tabs you dig all the time, bottle caps all the time, aluminum cans all the time, so you know what they sound like. And what I'm listening for is that different tone, that real scratchy tone, or perhaps uh, a, a number that's not, you know, a regular coin number or a regular ring number, uh, something that's kind of in between. And so that's kind of what I'm doing and listening and digging, but just dig it all. That's the only way you can find everything. So, I was just taking a break. Let's get back to swinging. All right, about shoulder deep water and getting a real jumpy, scratchy 42, 41. I uh, thought it was just going to be a bottle cap, but uh, it uh, was ringing lower. But it's got a kind of like a star or a tree or something cut out on it, and those rough edges give a rough uh, signal back. So, that's ring number two out of here. I've got, I want to sweep down one time and come back around and go back through the, the shallow. Uh, and, and then may head over to another lake. All right, moved on to uh, another lake. Nobody, nobody here. Hopefully no one's been here this morning to detect and it's full of goodies. So uh, hopefully I get a few more things. So let's jump in the water. Let's see what we can get. All right, been in the water maybe five minutes and uh, Preacher Digger got him another cross with diamonds and a silver, it's a silver cross and a silver uh, chain. How about that? I'll take that. So I've already dug some money, some pull tabs and this, so definitely hasn't been hunt, hunted. So let me get with it. Somebody else just pulled up and let's see if they're gonna detect or if they're gonna swim. I hope they're gonna swim. Check this out. It's getting a 47, 48, good solid hit. And I'm in about knee deep water. And it's, uh, I think it's, it's it. I think I could see 10 karat gold. 
10 karat gold diamond ring <laughs> got gold for the day this is ring number four for the for the video three for the day so uh that's a good find so i don't think it's been hunted at all this week because i'm digging up coins and trash and and everything else but uh i'll take that that's pretty nice isn't it all right let's keep going I was getting a solid 67 and it's going to be a thin 925 ring with uh, little diamond chips on it probably and I thought it was white gold but then it was ringing too high 67 and usually silver rings higher than that but when it's a small band like that sometimes they ring lower at first I thought it was a tungsten ring because that's what they usually run up to all right that's the second ring out of here fourth ring for the day fifth ring for the trip the video all right let's keep on swinging see if we can find some more stuff i'm working out in the deep end now well i came up to work the very shallow water it's just about shin deep and i got a 47 to a 49 i wish it was white gold but i think it's just going to be stainless steel uh, but it's another another ring that's a lot of rings out of this little place today i've done real well i think i might just uh stop at the other lake on the way home and hit that one that's close to my house too just for about an hour or so see what we can get all right let's keep looking just about finished here all right i just got in the water i haven't been here maybe five minutes and uh, i'm just in about uh, shin deep water and dug up this 60 just a real solid 55 to a 60 and a uh, real pretty ring i can tell it's an old ring it's probably been there for a while a lot of pull tabs in here so i've been digging them all up it looks like it's going to be a gold plated silver ring with uh, some type of stone in it i'll check and see if those diamonds are real later on but that's a really pretty ring though and that's what i was hoping for to come out here and hit this area and uh it's real clay bottom and a lot of pull tabs and trash and it's like it's like detecting in a stock pond it's just nasty but there's stuff out here so let's keep looking Well, I moved on from that other lake. I just found that one ring there and uh, a lot of trash. So I decided to come on over to this one. And uh, there's two spots to swim uh, here. And I'm in the first spot, which is the oldest swim area. And uh, I got a 44, 45, real choppy signal. And uh, it's one of those, uh, it says Batman on it. It's one of those personalized rings. What's interesting is I, I dug a Superman ring here uh, about five or six years ago, but it was silver. And, uh, but anyway, that's uh, another ring for the day, stainless steel, but uh, I'll take it. Um, let's keep on rolling. Let's see what uh, we can get on that other side. All right, not too far away from where I got that stainless steel ring. I was getting another 47 to a 51, a real static jumping around. And uh, Preacher Digger done got him another cross. I tell you what, I dig a lot of these. I, I got a huge collection of them, big, huge display of all my crosses i think this is somewhere in the 60s now that i have these uh this is not precious it's just uh i think just gold plated maybe with some fake diamonds on it but anyway it's a nice cross i'll take it so let's move on all right i've been in the water about 30 minutes and uh just kind of crossed the lake from the other swim area i was at getting an 87 thinking it was going to be a quarter reached down there and it popped right on my my finger i love it when i do that i'm only about uh, knee deep water maybe mid thigh water I'm not very deep right now uh, but I'm getting wore out. It's getting hot and, and I got my dorky hat on to keep that sun off my neck. But uh, yeah, it's a nice uh, silver band. I'll take it. It's better than nothing, isn't it? It's just so trashy here. I mean, it just nothing in the headphones just gets quiet. It's just constantly chatter. And um, so I got a little bit more to get down to the main swim area where all the kids do. And I'm going to hunt that pretty good and make my way, way back and go in. So let's see what else we can get. All right, just making my way down the shoreline. I'm in the main swim area now, wherever all the kids swim. And no sooner than I got here, I got uh, 89 to a 90. And this is going to be a James Avery uh, arrow ring. I saw somewhere somebody said that this was a knockoff from James Avery. I don't know. I have both kinds in my collection, and they both are sort of stamped James Avery. 
So uh, I take it that it's James Avery, even though it looks different than the other arrow that James Avery makes. Maybe they make two, I don't know. But that's another silver ring, two out of this uh, lake on this side and one on the other side. So I'm gonna make my way back. It's getting hot. I'm ready to call it and get to the house and shoot a wrap up. So we'll do about another hour here and then we'll, we'll go in. I went out uh, about uh, chin deep. Got a, I couldn't tell what signal it was. I just knew it was a high tone. But check that out. That's pretty, isn't it? That's kind of a infinity knot with diamond chips in it. It's going to be a silver ring. And um, that's uh, two silver rings of James Avery. And this one I dug out of that one that one hole. And uh, and then I got that silver band just right before I got to that swaying area. So that's three rings right there. I've got about a hundred yard walk to my truck and so we're gonna go call it a day I'm getting sunburned it's getting hot this lake water feels like bath water and I'm ready to go in and shoot a wrap up all right been a long day got up at four headed out to the lake early this morning I've been getting up real early I like getting up early 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 I like being in the water by 5 45 it's just uh, so much more calm there's no people there's not hot you got the swim area all by yourself you don't have to work around people so i really enjoy getting up but it makes for a long day and uh, but boy i tell you what when that sun comes out i just burn up every every time i get out there so i had to quit mid-afternoon but anyway i had another great week um i really wasn't expecting to get as much as i did and boy i did right at the very end i did that one lake uh that uh, i knew that no one was really hunting it and i haven't been hunting it for the last two years and where i found those three rings um there's still more rings out there i just couldn't hunt it because it was filled with children and families and so i just couldn't get out there and do any more hunting i had to work around them just to get those so i know there's more out there and i'll make a trip later on and do that uh, probably by the time you watch this video i've already gone back out there but anyway uh let me show you what i got i got it all laid out for you here's all my trash there's my aluminum cans, my fishing stuff, junk stuff. I got a ball and a hat and a shovel, vape pen and a regular pen. There's all my bottle caps and aluminum caps, all my pull tabs and all my beaver tail pull tabs. And as far as treasures, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten dollars and twenty-five cents in quarters. That's a lot of quarters. We got uh, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty-four dimes. We got five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty-one pennies. And for nickels, we got five, six, seven, eight nickels. End up finding a pair of sunglasses. I'll give those to my grandkids, clean them up. The girls like to wear them. Uh, found a marble, believe it or not. It came up in the scoop. And that's, it looks like an old marble at that. <clears throat> a couple of bracelets. That's just, uh, I saw, I bought that one on top of the, the uh, under the water, but on top of the uh, sand. So I reached down there and got it. Got a nice bracelet right there. I think it's a uh, stainless steel. Weird looking thing right there. Got an eyeball. What it is, it's a ear gauge but it's an eyeball staring at you. That's kind of weird. Here's all my earrings. Found two of the, the same ones. And here are my necklaces. I got a little crown with a heart on it. I got the James Avery heart cross necklace. Then I got the blinged out necklace of cross right there. Then I got another nice, this is 925 chain and 925 cross. And so that's really nice there. So I got my cross. I like getting my crosses on my episodes. Uh, I think that's a homemade ring. It looks like it's got a tree or something on it. I don't really know what that is. But anyway, a couple of, they're stainless steel. That's a stainless steel with the name on it, Batman. Another stainless steel ring. Or that might be, I think that was tungsten. I'm sorry. I got two tungsten rings. Three stainless steel rings. And then here are my silvers. I got, I think that's going to be a wedding band. Just missing the engagement ring part. Uh, here's a silver wedding band. And then a James Avery silver. 
And like I said, if you look right there, you can see the James Avery hallmark. I had read somewhere on my wall or somebody's wall, and they said that the, this was a knockoff. This was not a true James Avery. But I have two of these with James Avery in it. Uh, James Avery has another one that looks different than this. So unless they're stamping their name on it, I don't know. Uh, got that one at that one of those swim areas, a gold-plated. Um, it's not even gold-plated silver. It's just going to be a gold-plated uh, non-precious. But anyway, it's gold-plated. It's pretty nice stone in it. But this is a real nice surprise. I got home, and I looked at that, and I'm thinking, well, it's silver, but and some of it's tarnished, some of it's not. But then I looked on the inside. This is an A what they call the brand a cane i think is what it says the infinity uh ring where it's shiny is 18 karat white gold and where it's dull is silver so this thing ought to really clean up really really nice and be all silver color when i'm done with it you can see where the 18 gold is you turn it up all that down there is you can see the gold in there that's a real nice ring right there got that in chin deep water and then i got my gold ring it's a 10 karat gold ring. Very nice. So all together, I got 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 rings on this trip. And so there's all the trash, friends. Thanks for coming along on the journey. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And here's all the treasures. I can't even get it all in frame. There we go. There's all the treasures. Like I always say, the greatest treasure isn't what can be found in the lake and put on a tailgate and do a wrap-up. The greatest treasure is what can be found up in heaven. Keep searching, keep looking up. Until we meet again, I just want to wish everybody happy hunting and God bless. Mm -hmm.